Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really well and a really big welcome, a special big welcome if you're new here. This video is a little bit tongue-in-cheek of course and videos like this will always be a little bit controversial. I want to say that I don't want to offend anybody at all in this video. So if you love wearing any of the things that I suggest you should stop wearing in this video and they make you happy and comfortable, just continue wearing them and ignore what I'm saying. These are just suggestions and definitely not rules. But the intention of this video is to show you what can make you look older, frumpier and less stylish. I'm going to be showing you what doesn't work so well and what works better instead. I'm going to be giving you a few tricks to have up your sleeves, to look fresher and to knock a few years off. It's not about looking 25 when you're 50 of course, but it's much more about looking fresher, youthful and more modern. It's what makes you feel good when you look in the mirror that matters here. And in this video I have something extra exciting too, a giveaway. I'll tell you more about it later in the video, but it's something that I love and use every single day and you'll learn a little bit more about what this is. So I have five major points that I want to share and I'm going to get straight into my first stop point, which is number one, stop wearing only basic classic clothes. This may sound strange because of course we all know that classic basics are the foundation of a great well-functioning wardrobe and that's absolutely true. However, if you just wear classic basic pieces when you're a lady of a certain age, they can be a little bit aging if you overdo it. So these clean silhouettes with minimal detailing, if that's all you wear, can look a little bit frumpsville and even as far as to say a tad boring if you don't jazz them up a little bit. But please don't think that I'm saying stop wearing classics because I'm definitely not saying that. But what I am saying is do wear them as foundation pieces but make sure that you add interesting little details and give a little nod to new trends. Of course choose the new trends that you feel are most you, that you feel most comfortable with. So I'd like to illustrate this point here with my first look. So this is a real classic outfit and very comfortable, a classic cotton t-shirt. This one is from Bowdoin, brilliant quality, um, which I've teamed with these lightish wash ankle grazer jeans. These are from Mango. I did feature this in a previous video, which I will link for you as well, but on a different topic. Now, there's no doubt that a white t-shirt and jeans is really classic. It's a real wardrobe staple. Both of them are um, and a go-to combination in our wardrobes. But style just like this, just plain, it could look a little bit mundane. So let's see how it looks when I add another piece, a statement piece and a more elevated piece, just to totally transform the same look um, and to look more modern and fresh in my second look. So you can see here that I've added this gorgeous boucle cropped jacket to die for. It gives the third piece, which always looks much more put together. And I've also added a couple of pieces of jewellery as well, which can add subtle elevation to any outfit. Now the blue shade of the boucle jacket turns beautifully with the wash of the jeans and really looks like a well thought out outfit. But actually, in fact, it's just a crop jacket thrown over jeans and a t-shirt. So it's a very easy look to put together and adapt to items in your own wardrobe. My second stop is stop wearing things that are juvenile, particularly things like a little cardigan over dresses. When I was a little girl, my mother used to dress me in summer dresses with little cardigans on the top, little short cardigans, which did look quite cute when I was six in the 1970s, but um, not quite so cute at our age. Wearing a little cardigan, a little short cardigan, particularly over summer dresses at our age, can look a little aging. It's just really not meant for adults. Even a short cardigan over any outfit, in fact, can be less flattering. What I would suggest is do wear longer line jackets and cardigans, as I'm going to show you in these two looks of mine. So you can see with the first look here, um, this is with a short cashmere cardigan uh, with white jeans. It doesn't look as good as the second look with the same jeans and top, but with a longer line, more loose fitting cardigan, in my opinion. Now, as I said before at the beginning of the video, if you totally disagree, that's entirely up to you. But this is my opinion. Now, the longer line cardigan, I think, makes the outfit look more elongating, more slimming and more elegant. 
The short cardigan is a lovely piece, by the way. I mean, don't get me wrong here. Um, you may have one similar, um, but I think it would look much more youthful if it were worn as a top, buttoned up um, in that way, styled in that way, rather than just left hanging. And that's what, how I would style it. My third stop is stop wearing loose capri trousers. I know. Capri trousers are lovely pieces in the sense that they can be very cool in the summer and they're that lovely sort of cross between trousers and shorts and they hide quite a bit of leg. But what they also are is unflattering because particularly the looser version of this, they stop at the widest point of your calf, which actually makes your legs look much chunkier, much thicker, because the eye just gives the illusion that the whole leg is that wide when it's probably not. That length of trouser is actually very frumpy to any age, not just ours, and it doesn't show off anybody's legs to their best advantage. They also make your leg look shorter because they create the illusion that your leg stops where they stop. So actually, it sort of foreshortens the whole look of your leg. So what are the alternatives? Do wear longer or shorter trousers instead. Essentially, any other length of trouser is actually more flattering, either shorter or longer. So if you're looking for something cool, choose some wide leg linen trousers that allows the air up your leg and flow beautifully, or go for longer length shorts. The other option, which I'm currently loving, is ankle grazer trousers, which are perfect for this time, right through summer and into autumn. I've recently created a whole video about this length of trouser, actually, which I will link above and also down in the video description, if you'd like to have a look at that after you've seen this one. My fourth stop, is stop wearing anything that's too baggy. And just before I do that, if you are enjoying this video, please do give it a thumbs up because that does give me an indication of which videos you really like so that I can make more of them for you. And also please, if you're new here, please do subscribe because it really helps the channel to keep going. Every week, and in fact, in the middle of the week as well, through my shorts, I give styling tips on what works and what doesn't work. I'd love you to comment as well because we have a wonderful community underneath these videos videos and it's great to hear what you've got to say. Thank you so much. So back to my point four. Oversized clothes are everywhere at the moment and they can look really great. I like them if they're styled correctly um, because otherwise they can have the danger of making us look a little bit bigger, particularly if you're a bit shorter on the shorter side like I am five foot four. But I'm definitely not saying don't wear oversized clothes. What I am talking about is those big baggy, boxy, often floral uh, tops that have no shape that are sometimes paired with big, baggy, boxy trousers, which also have no shape. In general, too much bulk is aging in clothes. And please don't hate me. <laughs> if you love baggy clothes and you love oversized clothes, as I said, some oversized clothes are great if they're styled correctly, but don't worry, I have a solution. If you have these types of pieces in your wardrobe, all you have to do to make yourself feel better and to look better and to look fresher is do add some definition. So just add a touch of definition with perhaps a half tuck or a loose belt just to give yourself a more flattering silhouette. Over your top, for example, you could select a jacket which is slightly more fitted, slightly more cut in, which gives you the suggestion of a waistline. And the trousers that you choose could be more straight-legged if you're going to wear it with a looser top, just to create more, a bit more shape. My fifth stop is stop wearing the colours that you wore when you were young and instead do update and review if they still suit you. It's always a good idea from time to time to review what you're wearing, uh, not just the styles of things that you're wearing, but also the colours that you're wearing. It doesn't often work to wear the same colours as you wore when you were younger. Why? Because often things change, like our hair colour changes, uh, and also as we get older, our complexions change too. Lots of ladies had their colours done years ago, but you know, the colours may not still be right for the way you look now. In my case, I used to absolutely love bright lime green, up, up until fairly recently actually, as you can see in this picture of me. Now this was actually only taken about eight years ago, but you can see that my hair colour is not the same in the picture as it is now. Uh, I don't have it quite as light anymore. Also, I wore more garish makeup and brighter pink, 
<laughs> if that's possible. And of course, I have a tan in this picture as well, which was easy in those days because that's when I used to live and work in North Africa. Um, that's where this picture was taken. So now I find myself gravitating more to more neutrals and also to more blues rather than lime green. So I wanted to show you in look five. So this is the same shirt that I'm wearing now, actually. Beautiful, beautiful shirt. Vibrant blue, but not overpowering. Uh, what it does, I feel, is give a lift to the face as well, a reflection of, of just a bit more vibrancy. Especially flattering as it's a pinstripe with the stripes going downwards, so very slimming, elongating for the whole body. The style of it, it also has darts in it to shape the waistline in, so you don't even need to tuck this one in if you don't want to because it gives you definition and shape in any case. It's got plenty of space, uh, it isn't tight at all, you can see it's quite roomy, uh, but it's just cut in a really flattering way. It's the sort of shirt that looks fresh and modern, and you can team it with so many pieces that you probably already really have in your wardrobe. Like I have done here with these ivory trousers. I've had these quite a while, but they're so versatile and this blouse goes beautifully with it. Or you could put this sort of a blouse with jeans or shorts as the weather warms up or even a skirt. The key takeaway, of course, from all these points is to dress for you. What makes you happy, what makes you feel good. That's one of the beauties of getting older, isn't it, actually? We actually know what works for us. And speaking of getting older and the importance of being happy and feeling the best that we can brings me on to this drink that I have here and my exciting giveaway. This is a milkshake, but not just any old milkshake. This is a multi-nutrient protein shake for women suffering from perimenopause or menopause that will help you to get your mojo back and help to alleviate your symptoms. It certainly helped me and that's why I want to talk about this today because I never ever promote anything that I don't love and that I haven't used. It's from a company called Bomimo, which actually stands for Body, Mind and Mojo run by a lovely lady who is passionate about helping and supporting us women, particularly to improve our menopause symptoms and to wind back the clock and stop our skins, hair and bodies from aging quite so fast, as well as maintaining our youthful vitality and optimism. Sam, the founder, reached out to me and was kind enough to let me try her Mena shakes, which come in two flavours. There's a chocolate one, which contains collagen too, and she has a vanilla one. Not only are they delicious and you know how difficult it is to get something that's so good for you that also tastes wonderful, but they do some wonderful things to support us going through menopause and perimenopause. I found that my energy has definitely been boosted, my digestion seems better too, and so does my skin. It just feels more elastic somehow. And they also help with weight loss, support bone density, joint aches and promote better quality sleep. What's in these Mena shakes? Well, they actually contain metabolism boosters, plant proteins, phytoestrogens to help combat hormonal changes that we all know and don't love, as well as being packed with vitamins and minerals. It's dead simple to make. All you do is you mix the powder with any milk of your choice or vegan alternative that you like or water and just shake it up in this gorgeous shaker that Bobby Mo has as well. So pretty. And working out at £1.99 a day for the vanilla or £2.49 for the chocolate, that's probably cheaper than having a Starbucks coffee out as well. So here comes the really exciting part. Bomimo is offering a pouch of the vegan vanilla and a pouch of the chocolate collagen Mena Shake, as well as one of these gorgeous little shakers here as a giveaway. And to enter into the giveaway, all you need to do is comment underneath this video. If you put a comment there, this will automatically get you an entry into my YouTube comment picker draw. The winner, the lucky winner, who is going to feel way better with the menopause symptoms, um, will be announced on my community page on this channel uh, two weeks from the date that I publish this video. And in the meantime, if you can't wait to see if you've won and you'd like to try the benefits, I have a discount code of 20% off if you go through the link that I put underneath this video and use the code that's on the screen now, and I'll also put it under the video description for you. So with that, <laughs> I hope that you've really enjoyed this video, ladies. All the links to the items that I've shown you are in the video description if you scroll down underneath. And hope you've really enjoyed these points. 
please do comment about the items that I've suggested you stop wearing and the solutions and alternatives that I've offered you. I'm sure there'll be lots of controversy um, and that's great because I love all these opinions from you. Uh, love you all. Hope you have an amazing day, amazing week and I'll see you really, really soon. Lots of love. Bye. Mm -hmm.